What do we mean when we use the word subject, form, content, and style when we're looking at art? Let's find out. One thing we notice when we look at art, what is the subject matter? There are categories of subject matter, like portraits, landscapes, called genre. Abstract art uses a real subject, but sometimes is unrecognizable. And non-objective art, has no reference to the real world at all. There are lots of genres, the French word for types or categories of subjects, and here are a few big ones. Landscape paintings, like this one by Monet, represent the natural world. Portraits can be very realistic, like this one by Ong, or simplified, or expressionistic. A still life depicts common objects, usually things that don't move. Paintings often document historical events. Francisco Goya painted the 3rd of May, 1814, about a real event that happened in Spain. And sometimes artists paint myths and allegories. Liberty is a woman leading the revolution in this painting by Delacroix. Art also helps tell religious stories. Artists use the elements, line, color, shape, space, texture, value, and principles, and these give the work form. Joan Mitchell's painting is about color and line and texture and the title, Looking for a Needle in a Haystack, gives a clue about her idea. The meaning, message, feeling of a work is the content. Artists communicate with their work. Chardin's painting, The Ray, is a little scary, don't you think? Manet uses the same subject, a still life with fish, and it looks so inviting. The tablecloth, the lemons, the salmon, and an empty glass ready to get filled. Still Life with Fish by Picasso is colorful and playful. Same subject, same medium, completely different meaning and feeling. Some artists and art movements communicate meaning by using symbols. By understanding the symbols, the iconography, we can unlock additional meanings. Look at the dog. The dog is standing in for the love and fidelity and loyalty that marriage requires. There's always more to learn. The style of a work rounds up all these ideas. How do the artists use color, line, space? What is the subject matter? What's the idea, message, and feeling? Artists and art movements often hang together in the kind of style they use in their work. Renoir's landscape uses realistic colors and shapes and represents a blurry, soft view of a real landscape. Now look at Matisse's landscape. Do you see the large shapes of color? Are the colors realistic? Is this landscape painted in the same style as Renoir's? Clay's sunken landscape. What do you think? Same style? Cezanne's landscape uses the same colors and shapes and point of view as Renoir's. Do you think it's the same style as Renoir? Red tree trunks, bright colors, large broken dashes of brush strokes. What do you think? Is it the same style as Renoir? Now we've got a good start. Now we can start looking carefully and talking about art.